New at 9, the search is on for Hawaii's next school superintendent. With Dr. Christina Kishimoto's term ending in July, the job listing came out today for an interim superintendent. Max Rodriguez is following the latest. The basic qualifications for this position requires a master's degree in education or business with at least five years of experience in a leadership role in public or business administration. But a local high school teacher tells me this position requires much more than what's on paper. We need a superintendent that can connect. And I think that's really, really important, especially in this time where our students feel really disconnected. Uh, from their schooling. It's really, it, it would be really nice to see a superintendent that can really get down with our communities. Hinderer says he'd also like to see a superintendent who understands the digital needs in the classroom. He says COVID exasperated the challenges some students faced when trying to connect. And that's one of the big things here in Hawaii is that equity in technology. Um, the superintendent needs to understand that not every student has access to this. And they need to make this a priority to ensure that they do. It's up to the Board of Education to pick the next superintendent. The last time the job was open, back in 2017. It came down to two finalists from the mainland, with Dr. Christina Kishimoto ultimately getting the job. In a statement, the vice chair of the State House Education Committee says the BOE should prioritize candidates from our home state. For Hinderer, he wants a leader who's in tune with what's happening inside and outside of the classroom. As much as we, you know, want to ensure that our kids are taken care of, this, uh, the other part of the superintendent's job is to ensure that her employees are taken care of, too. Kishimoto's final day on the job is July 30th, with the interim superintendent slated to begin on August 1st. Now the permanent position will be filled by March of next year. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.